You know it's chewy, you know it's gooey. These are crazy. The top is kind of crispy, but the bottom is really chewy and gooey. And the double chocolate chip, I mean. If you stick them together, a chocolate chip, double chocolate chip cookie. I like cookies a lot, and I want a cookie right now, and I want it to be easy, quick, low calorie, and healthy. So let's make some single serve cookies. A chocolate chip cookie and a double chocolate chip cookie, because I don't know which one I like better. I'm still trying to figure it out, but for now, let's just have both. Just a few ingredients in a microwave and you have low calorie cookies. The first ingredient is flour, regular plain white flour, two tablespoons of it. And then one tablespoon of peanut flour, AKA peanut butter powder, six grams. This has a lot more protein than regular flour and it just tastes so much better. I like peanutty anything. Cookies also need to be sweet. So I'm gonna use a red tall, my favorite sweetener. It's made from grapes, melons, and pears. That's what it says on the back and I trust them. Why else would they make the bag green? Grapes are green, pears are green, melons can be green. One tablespoon, 12 grams. Don't use sugar, even though one tablespoon of sugar isn't that many calories, you don't need it. And our last dry ingredient is a little tiny pinch, the smallest amount of baking soda. I used this baking soda to clean my bathtub last night, and now I'm using it for this recipe. Quite a versatile ingredient. And our last dry ingredient is a pinch of salt. We have two last dry ingredients. Now take your powders and mix them up. The PB powder, man, it's clumpy. Just press down with the back of your spoon to get the clumps out. It's a one bowl recipe, you need two one bowls. My favorite and least favorite ingredient in the entire world, I could eat a jar of this if I wanted to, it would go down like nothing. I don't even need milk, I just use extra peanut butter to get the peanut butter down. One teaspoon of peanut butter, so this is one teaspoon, let me show you, five grams. You've never used one teaspoon for anything in your life before because it's that, it's so little, oh my God, it's actually frustrating. Trick, put the peanut butter on the food scale and then click tear and then take out five grams until the food scale says negative five. Don't do it the other way where you take the bowl, you put it on the food scale, you try to put the peanut butter in the bowl because five grams might go in the bowl, but then an extra 10 grams is gonna be stuck to the spoon. You're gonna lick it and then you ate a tablespoon of peanut butter without knowing. I undershot it, five. This is five grams of peanut butter. Look, what is this? It looks like it's half a teaspoon, but I weighed it and it says one teaspoon. What is this? What is this? 30 calories? This is 30 calories. It's the size, it's not even the size of my eye. My eye is bigger. This is a teaspoon of peanut butter, but we need it for this recipe. So take it, put it in a bowl. Now we wanna put an equal amount of water, another five grams. And then you take a third of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you wanna microwave this until it melts and it's one consistency. After 30 seconds in the microwave, mix this up. Now add two more teaspoons of water into this. When the peanut butter is a little bit warm, it gets a little roasted, it smells better, and then it becomes easier to mix. Peanut water, I would drink this instead of regular water, honestly. Peanut flavored water sounds amazing. Take around a third of your dry mixture and put it right in and mix. It smells insane in this kitchen. Take a second third of your dry. It's getting pretty hard to mix, so you could drizzle in droplets of water. You want to form some cookie dough right now. That looks like way too many powders, but keep mixing because you want a thick cookie dough. You do not want to make a batter. That looks like it's going to need some droplets of water. I'll be back. Couple droplets in. Keep mixing. As soon as you get to this stage, stop. You want a dough ball, but you do not want to overmix because the gluten will get chewy and you're not trying to make bagels or pizza. You're trying to make cookies. We want to make these in the microwave, but they will stick, so you need parchment. Get something to weigh both sides down because parchment curls, it's annoying. Plop your dough ball right in the middle. There we go. We made a chocolate chip cookie. Actually, we haven't because there's no chocolate chips. I have 10 grams of chopped chocolate here and I'm gonna use five grams for this cookie and five grams for the double chocolate chip cookie. Just press in pieces of your chopped chocolate. You could also use mini chocolate chips. Really press the chocolate in there. You want it to melt and just ooze out the inside of the cookie. 
Oh my god, it smells so good. It literally smells like a peanut butter factory. I've never been to one, but I bet it smelled like this. Put this to the side. We have a double chocolate cookie to make. 15 grams or two tablespoons of regular flour. The food scale is the best investment of my entire life. I do not have a teaspoon or a tablespoon measure in this house and I do not plan on getting one. One tablespoon of peanut flour. Erythritol will also be my favorite sweetener till the end of time, unless something better is invented. But for now, melons, grapes, and pears. A dash of baking soda, that much. A pinch of salt, because the chocolate in a salty cookie is so good. And you might be wondering, this doesn't look like a double chocolate chip cookie. Well, the double chocolate comes in the first form. Cocoa powder, one tablespoon, five grams. But you wanna balance out the extra sweetness that this added with either erythritol, or what I like, two teaspoons of syrup, and a little splash of vanilla. And while this is in the microwave, I'm gonna mix up all my dry ingredients. When the syrup comes out of the microwave, the syrup plus the PB roasted in the microwave, oh my God. Now we wanna add two teaspoons of water to this. Once you have peanut water, it looks like a lot of powders, but just keep folding. This is getting a little too dry, so I'm gonna add some droplets of water. I may have added a touch too many droplets of water, but that is okay, because we have a cookie to make. I know I added too much water because it's sticking to my fingers, and that makes everything a little bit more frustrating to work with, but if you're patient enough, it will turn into a cookie. Pretend like you have a pet hamster, and you can only pet the hamster with one finger, and you just gotta keep petting it gently and slowly. And if you're patient like that, because you'd never want to be rough with a hamster, come on, you animal, then you'll get a cookie shape. Press in your chop chocolate. Oh yeah, we are ready to make these. Chocolate chip and double chocolate chip. We got our cookies, we got our chocolate chip, we got our double chocolate chip. Now cooking these is kind of tricky because you don't want to make these cakey if you're like me because I like a really, really gooey cookie. So you got to microwave these anywhere from 30 seconds to 1 minute and 20 seconds, aka 80 seconds. Somewhere in that range, the longer you go, the more cakey, the more crumbly they'll be. I like to go on the lesser end. Look at that, Ooh. after 30 seconds, oh man. The chocolate is melting, it is turning into a cookie, it's getting a little bit puffy. Look at that chocolate oozing out. Feel the bottom, is it firm? This one's looking firm. I'm just gonna stop now, 30 seconds is all I want. Let's microwave this one. Is this bad for your eyes? I don't know. Maybe I'll wear sunglasses for the radiation. 30 seconds. Ooh. Now that is a chocolate chip cookie. Wow, the smell is insane. It smells, oh my God. I gotta cut into, I wanna just bite into them, but I gotta cut into them to show you guys. You know it's chewy, you know it's gooey. These are crazy. If you like your cookies chewy and gooey like I do, do not microwave them for more than 30 seconds, okay? 44 seconds max, but 30 seconds just stop there. They will be gooey. You can just feel this and you know it's chewy because look at that. It's like the top is kind of crispy, but the bottom is really chewy. And the double chocolate chip, I mean. Calories and macros for the chocolate chip cookie will be on the screen now. Let's try it. Yo. Calories and macros for the double chocolate chip cookie will be on the screen now. It's so fudgy. If you stick them together, 
a chocolate chip, double chocolate chip cookie. Yo. You get the chocolate chip, you get the double chocolate chip, you put it on top. Then you get a chocolate chip, you put it on top. And then you have a cookie sandwich. Three layers. I didn't want to add protein powder to this recipe for a very specific reason. It would dry it out. These are super, super gooey. If you want protein in this, have it with a protein shake, but I don't do that. What I would do is have it with a Greek yogurt. This is 130 calories. Have an 80 calorie Greek yogurt. You're at 20 grams of protein and right around 200 calories. And that's equivalent to eating a protein bar. Except you have a Greek yogurt and a cookie. Milk and cookies? No. Greek yogurt and cookies is the milk and cookies of 2023. If you care about your calories and macros. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a like if you like this. Subscribe if you're new. And tell me, do you like double chocolate or chocolate chip cookies more? And I'll see you in the next video. And if you want me to make other flavors of these, let me know what flavors you want me to make down below and I'll make them.